Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please visit me online at www.foxonecorp.com for all your glider supplies. For this video, I'd like to give an overview of the S80 variometer. Everything that we see here is going to be the same for the S8, the S10, and the S100, as they all operate using the same software. First thing that we want to do is power on. So we're going to use the top right knob, and we're going to press that in and let it go. The variable will go through its boot up cycle. Select pilot. And then we're presented with the option to select the profile. This is a new Vario and no profiles have been set, so I'm just going to accept the default profile. We'll do that by pressing the bottom knob. That takes us into the Set Elevation and QNH dialog. We can adjust the settings by rotating clockwise or counterclockwise to increase and decrease the value. So I'm going to set this up to 260 meters. Press the bottom knob again. We go to the QNH that we could adjust. And then once we're finished with that, we can either do a medium press on this bottom button. That takes us out to the information screen. So on the screen, what we can see up here, INF, that represents the information screen. So on this screen, we can see our latitude, longitude. We can see our uh, sunrise and sunset, current flight level, altitude, outside air temperature, just a bunch of general information on the center part of the screen. The buttons, we've already briefly talked about those. The top button, press, is power on and off. Rotate is volume. So if I rotate this button clockwise, we can see that the sound increases and I can rotate the knob counterclockwise and we can get the vario back to zero. Another function of the volume button, so the top is basically the on off and the volume button. If I do a short press on the volume button now, we can see that I get three fields to adjust independently the volume for speech, flarm, and vario. And by continuing to press the volume button, I can scroll through the three options, speech, vario, and flarm. If I want to adjust the speech down, again, rotate counterclockwise on the knob, adjust the speech up, rotate clockwise. Want to adjust the flarm, one push, and now I can adjust the flarm levels. And Vario, well, we have that set to zero because we don't want noise while we're making this video. This will time out automatically and go back to the main screen. You may have also noticed down at the bottom here, there's a close. That's indicating that our bottom button here will also close that dialog. So we can adjust those volumes independently. The next thing that we'll take a look at is some more of the functions of these three buttons here. So the middle button, it will scroll us sideways, left to right, through the various pages. So we have an information page. We scroll sideways once. We get to the waypoint page. We can see the WPT at the top. Once more, we go to the task page. Once more, we're in the setup menu. Once more, and we're back to the information. So there are four main modes or pages on this, and the middle button allows us to select from one of those four pages. Once we're in one of those pages, the upper and lower buttons act as up and down arrows that allow us to go through sub pages. If I press the down button, I go from this map view to my basic variometer view with all of my text values that I can program to be on the center of the screen. So there are four possible lines here of information that we can see, and it's completely programmable what you wish to put into those four lines. You can also reduce it to three lines or two lines of text if you don't want all four lines. If I press down once more, it wraps around and it goes back to the map view. The up arrow also does the same thing. I can press up and go through those two pages. If there's an AHRS connected, then that's typically on the third page, and we'd have to press one of these up or down buttons two times to move to the third page. Within the task page, we have the same options. We have the overhead map view, and we have our numerical view. So we can switch back and forth between those using the upper and lower buttons. The next thing we'll look at is we'll go into the setup menu. 
and we'll see some of the functions of the buttons here because the function changes a little bit depending on what screen you have displayed. So once we're in here, remember top button does nothing but volume and power on off. So except for those functions, you can ignore the top knob. The bottom knob, if we rotate it, allows us to scroll through the menu. So let's go to units and I want to select units. So I press the button. That's the enter button. So now that I'm into here, I can set things. For example, my UTC offset, I'm going to set that to minus four for Eastern time zone here. And then we can set all of our units. For example, set that to feet. What I'm doing to set is a press of the button. So we'll press, the, we're on pressure in millibars. We'll press the bottom knob and now we can rotate the knob to go through the options and change that to inches of mercury. We'll go to speed, press once, and we'll change it to knots. We'll go to vertical speed, press once, change that to knots. And I'm going to do the same thing for wind and change that to knots. All right, so that's the basics of how to navigate through the menus a push of the lower button is enter or select, and a rotate allows you to change the value within the field. Now that we're finished with this menu, we can either rotate and scroll all the way down to the bottom and press exit, or as we saw previously, the center button here also allows us to exit and go back to our setup menu. So that's a very quick overview of the function of the two knobs and three buttons on the S80. The one last thing that I want to show is how do we power off? So to power off, as I said, the top knob is the power button. So I press and hold this power button until I see the shutdown in three, two, one, zero. Once it gets to zero, I can let go and now it will shut off. Hopefully you've learned something about the uh, S series of videos today. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below or send me an email. And please visit me online at www.fox1corp.com.